Cheerio, diecast fans. So today we have one for the fans of Bentley supercars. So if you have deductive reasoning, you might realize which model I purchased. But let's take a look because this is the first box I've gotten from the Kyosho Bentley collection. So I'm curious as to which ones are, I still have to get. It's pretty much all of them except for that. <laughs> so I have a long way to go collecting. Unfortunately, for some reason, these Bentleys are super expensive on eBay. I've never seen one less than $20. So maybe I'll never finish this, this collection. Because at $20, I'd just as well get a Tarmac or an Inno or, uh, you know, just a better model. So... But I do like Bentley's, so let's see here. This is not a real, it's pretty new, 2015. That's uh, not too long ago, I guess, in the realm of Kyosho's. Okay, all right, let's see what else here. Is there a price? Sometimes these boxes say the price in yen, but uh, I don't see it. And we're here. No. So, unfortunately, I don't know what these originally retailed for. It would have been nice to know to get a sense of uh, what kind of value we're getting, but out of luck there. Okay, let's take a look. And ta-da! Yes, it does look like the picture. There's no additional card. Usually these Kyoshas have like a card with the colorway choices, but I guess this is really two colors choices. I don't know. It's not there. Typical blister from Kyosho. Okay, typical base from Kyosho as well. And this should be a screw. Yes, there is. Let me take it off here. So the uh, Continental Super Sports was sold between 2009 and 2011. They were sold for like $280,000, somewhere in that ballpark. So definitely not a cheap car. But for that kind of money, you are getting carbon ceramic disc brakes. And uh, you have a, there's a retractable spoiler somewhere here. I don't see it in the casting, but supposedly there's a spoiler that lifts up, I guess. And what you're really getting for is your money is the engine. There's a W12, a 6 liter W12, which is like two V6s banked next to each other. And it's making like 620 horsepower. And this car is the first uh, Bentley that can actually run not only on gasoline, but also E85 ethanol fuel. So that's good for the environment if you guys care about that sort of thing. Uh, so they could go uh, 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds and go over 200 miles per hour. Although I'm not sure if that applies to the convertible. That's just uh, some statistics. Might apply just to the coupe. Okay, so that's what's going on here for statistics of the car. So I think we should now get into the casting itself. Okay, let's see. Let me grab Mr. Dental Pick here. And try to focus. Come on, focus. The wheels, yeah, they look pretty accurate actually to the photo behind. I'm going to put on the spinny thing after so you can compare at the end. But yeah, they look pretty accurate. And the tires have nice curvature to them, curvature to them so those look pretty good. Unfortunately, there's a bit of orange peel in this paint. It's, the gloss isn't really smooth. It's, it's peely, so that's, that's unfortunate. Uh, the door handle is nicely done. It is three-dimensional. It's sticking out of the bodywork, so that's pretty good. And it is hit with a tiny bit of black, so that seems that's actually accurate to the photo as well. Okay, uh, although the wheels spin, most Kyoshos don't actually roll very well, but this one seems like it would. Okay, now we got this uh, black trim line here, so that's really nice and thin. And then there's a little bit of silver here, so that's nicely done. But when I look at the photo of the car, there's actually black and silver running across the entire trim line. So it would have been better just to leave the silver off. It's not a badge. Maybe it is text there, I'm not sure. Okay, well, anyhow, let's go around to the back this time. Oh, wow, that's a nice emblem. Let's focus here. Let me zoom in a little bit. So that B is legible. That's a really nice emblem that Kyosho did. And while we're at it, look at the lights. They're thick plastic and they're painted on top so you can see the shape of the ovals, which is a uh, quite common on the Bentleys as part of their design language. Okay, so then there's uh, some paint here for the uh, lights, I guess, next to the license plate. And then the exhaust tips, yeah, ovals again, and they're nicely painted silver, so that's good. There's black paint in here, but there's no texture for the grill. But still, that's a really nice rear end. I, s I think that a lot, actually, when I walk outside, but anyways. Uh, let's see here, the mirrors don't have any paint or inserts, but that's the Kyosho way when it comes to their blister packs. 
this side any issues well no not really it's just the orange peel effect but again they do carry that little bit of silver so maybe on the real car it might say Bentley there okay going to the front we got the, the four plastic lenses all right and we got texture in the grill pretty good texture here texture there 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 it's all nice actually and the uh, logo on this one here can we focus on that again that looks pretty good yeah good job Kyosho a little black paint in here for these vents and it's not overrunning so that's really nicely done the top of the car seems to have a better gloss gloss paint paint job so a lot smoother than the sides and then the great thing about a convertible is you can actually see the molded details that Kyosho puts in there Unfortunately, they don't put any extra graphics or anything like that. So, but this is the blister packs. It's very rare that they had any graphics on their uh, interiors. You look at the texture on the seats. They're ovals as well. So, I'm guessing that's probably on the real car. So, that's pretty good. And the bottom, for those people that care, some detail, some text. Screwed together if you want to modify it. The treads look pretty good and uh, usually treads are unique to each different model that Kiesho makes so that's pretty nice okay well all in all I, except for the orange peel effect it's I don't see any defects I don't see any contaminants which is actually common on Kiosho so uh, I'm very happy granted this is one of their newer models being from 2015 so I guess it would be logical for Kiosho to do a better job the more they do something so this is good. I'm glad I got it. It's definitely worthy of my collection. I only wish these Bentleys were less expensive on the internet. I'd like to get one of each casting, but I don't know. At these prices, uh, it might never happen. So let's let this uh, do a little spin around, and you guys can evaluate it compared to the photo behind and decide for yourself if you think you're willing to pay the uh, exorbitant prices online for this sort of thing. Okay, cheerio. See you around. Bye.